What's going on, y'all? It's your boy DeAndrew coming to you from Relatable TV. I'm back with another video. Y'all already know I'm on that Nas. Y'all make sure y'all go get one. Tag Relatable TV. Hashtag Relatable TV. Ugh. Hashtag under. I'm fucking up. Hashtag Relatable underscore TV underscore. When you guys make a purchase and whatever the case is, so they know that y'all got got one because of me. Um, and I already poured that one in my cup, and I already drank some of it too, so. And I'm not editing that part out either. But today, I kind of want to, kind of want to touch bases on something that I was having a discussion, <clears throat> discussion with someone earlier about the difference between getting to know someone and understanding someone, because it's a big difference. Not much of a difference, but it's a big difference, and. I honestly feel like that's the problem that we all have. Like, as people, we'd rather get to know someone versus try to understand them. Getting to know someone, that's kind of knowing the basics that everybody would know about them. Especially, like, I'm talking about people that you want them to be close. Some people that you might want to uh, live with, be with, or just people that you genuinely care about. <clears throat> we have a thing of getting to know someone, and that's cool, but... You won't ever understand why, you know, they are how they are. So understanding someone is trying to figure out why they are the way they are, why they talk the way they talk, why they like the things they do like and different things of that nature. Like getting to know someone is like, like for me, I'm a Laker fan, but nobody knows why I'm a Laker fan. You know what I'm saying? Like understanding is like trying to understand why, um, why people do the things they do and, and, and are the way that they are. And I think if there was more understanding of people, we would, you know, we would be able to just kind of understand people. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it's like, it's easy to point the finger at someone and say, oh, they're crazy. Oh, they act like this. Oh, they don't know. Oh, this and that. But it's like, you got to understand that person first, understand where their mind goes with certain things, understand why they talk and move and, and do things the way that they do. And that way you'll be able to get to know them better because you'll have an understanding of why they are the way they are. So the problem when we meet people is that we'll rather get to know someone versus understand. You know, uh, I've been I've been told myself that, um, um, you know, I'm outspoken. I'm blunt when I say things. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, even certain certain things like people you know they say but nobody ever like asks me why how come you are the way you are how come you think the way you think or you know what what process in your mind is telling you to feel and think this way and I think that's very important when you're dealing with people especially people you care about I mean it's easy to say oh yeah that person you know they they don't understand or they don't, you know, they don't like, they don't like this. They just don't. That's just them or, you know, they're just not this way or whatever the case is. But you understand why, you know, as far as me, I've been told that I'm not that affectionate. You know, I'm not really an affectionate person, but I don't think people take time to ask me why, you know, it's just, oh, well, that's what we know about him. And that's just what it is. And that's definitely not true because, you know, it's different times in different lives I, i've been affectionate before but it just it fades away through certain situations you know what i'm saying so but even with that that's me expressing myself so you guys can understand that you know so i think getting to know someone and understanding someone it's a it's a very fine line man because you could be next to somebody for years or even your whole life and all you would do is just know them but you won't understand them understanding somebody and, and understanding somebody is a choice that you have to make getting to know somebody that's an obligation we feel like we have when you meet somebody you feel like you got to ask certain questions you got to do certain things you got to but under trying to understand someone that's on a different level that's when you know you genuinely care about them not just in a relationship way but just a person in general that's when you know somebody really cares about you is when they they ask questions to get to know you you know, like without judgment, obviously, because none of us can judge anybody. So it's like getting to, uh, I mean, learning to understand someone, that is definitely a choice. And if you don't, if you really don't uh, feel the need to understand somebody or whatever, that's fine too. But it's just understand that every time like a person shows you who they are, shows you how they are, whatever, 
you know, just understand that it's a reason behind everything. We've all been through things. Everyone's been through something. You know, it's things that we feel like nobody will understand. And the problem with that is because nobody asks questions anymore. Nobody asks the real questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's easy to say, like, oh, yeah, this this dude, he he just got different girlfriends. And he's just a cheater. And a cheater's going to be a cheater. Nah, that's not the case. Like, you got to understand. One, understand what he's been through as a person. Two, you got to understand the things he was exposed to as a, even as a child. You know, certain things lead up to our personalities today. But it's just take understanding. It takes a little more time to understand someone than getting to know someone. Getting to know someone, you meet them at the club or you meet them through someone else. Y'all feel like y'all have things in common. Y'all hit it off. And before you know it, y'all living together, y'all dating and all this stuff. That's getting to know somebody. But once you understand that person, that's normally when people break up. That's normally when people, you know, see like, you know, who a person really is, but not understanding why they are. It's just, okay, this person isn't who they were in the beginning. So we're just going to end things. And that's just how that goes with that. No, you didn't take time to understand why that person does the way, do the things that they do or why they even stop being the person that they were being. You know, all of those things just come from understanding. And like I said, that comes from your choice. It's, you have to choose to want to understand and takes time to get it. Take uh, You have to choose to take time to get to understand someone. Oh, their parents are like this, so they're going to be like this. Oh, you you know, it's easy to, to judge someone and just say, oh, I know them. I know how they are. That's cool. But do you understand them? If you understand someone, then the, the meaning will be a lot more broader to you. And it kind of be like, OK, I, I get it. If I would have came from this, too, I probably would have did the same thing or I wouldn't have done the same thing. But I can see why this person does the same thing. And. Understanding is such a beautiful thing. I always have felt like I misunderstood. Um, I spoke to my father. Uh, I'm not really going to put a number on I don't really remember. But we kind of spoke for the first time like in my 20s. And just talking to him, hearing so many stories about him and different things about him and stuff of that nature. It's like, you know, you, you, you feel like you know somebody, but you don't. But once I talk to him, I really feel like he's like really misunderstood because... I feel like I'm misunderstood and it took me to talk to him to even understand where a lot of my ways come from. A lot of the ways that I talk, a lot of the ways that I act, like it took me to to like let him talk, let like understand him, understand like where he comes. I've listened to his stories, you know, and um, even my mom, me and my mom, we talk about stuff and I can understand more than what my mom thinks I understand, you know, her. You know, so yes, you're going to you're going to know everybody around you. But to understand people, it's a very it's a bigger thing because it causes more of a, a peace between you and that person. Because, like I said, you will understand instead of just saying, oh, they're just like this. Oh, they're like this. You know, just take a look at somebody's background and try to understand it. You know what I'm saying? Because it trickles down. It trickles down from your parents to your grandparents to their grandparents to, you know, then it goes to you, to your children. And, you know, in the future, your children's children and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I really think that is a difference between getting to know someone and understanding someone. And understanding is very is way more important than getting to know someone. There will be less people giving up on one another if we understood each other more and not just feel like we just know them because that's not always the case. And then two, feelings change. People change throughout the years. Feelings change every day. Your mood changes throughout the hours. You wake up in a happy mood. you midway through the day. You could be having an attitude for whatever. You know, so those things change. But we have to understand why. Why does this person act the way they act? Why do they think the way that they think? And before I go, and that's me closing the video. I hope that, you know, that was helpful information. Um, I just really want to, really want to thank my subscribers, my followers, like people that are really reaching out. This is really like turning into something great for me. Like, I man, like I, I wish I could share certain things, but I, like I tell people, if I don't have permission, it's going to stick between us. But it's like I really appreciate the trust that people are putting into me to even reach out and say certain things, and ask me for certain things. And um, let's keep the subscribers coming. I think I'm at 109 last time I checked. Um, last time that I checked, <laughs> rest in peace, Nip. But um, yeah, yeah, y'all, you know, we we gonna keep the ball rolling, man. And y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all go get y'all Nazes. 
you know, share my videos, share clips on TikTok, do whatever it is to get me out there. And we are out on that note. I will see y'all on the next video. Once again, thank you to all you guys that supported me, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm at, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Remember Will Ferrell saying, I don't know what to do with my hands. That's what I just did just now. I don't know what to, I don't know the car. Like, anyway, that's, I'm just being goofy. But um, I'll right, see y'all in the next video.